Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Ukrainian guide, Elena, talking to you from American state of Georgia, where I'm surrounded with so much love and care. Yes, I love you, Tils, too. This is Tilly, one of two dogs that live in this wonderful house that became my our temporary home, our shelter in America, where we arrived through the program Uniting for Ukraine and where we have so many friends now. So good news that I want to share with those of you who keep following us and uh, and so on. So we received the social security number. So here is the card. Um, I think I have to cover this part. But so this is the social security number given to Olen Agnes. And my husband, Sri, he received the same one. So in the end, how it all happened, it was enough for us to come to the social security office in our small town where we live right now. Uh, we had to bring our Ukrainian passport, uh, the I-94 form, where it's registered when we arrived and why, and also our alien number, our travel authorization, which looks like this. This is basically the only paper that was given to us after we applied for the program Uniting for Ukraine and received permission to come here. This is the travel authorization. So authorization itself is the alien number, that's all. Yeah, and only upon arrival we received a stamp in the passport, which looks like this. That means that we are humanitarian parolees here and we can stay up to two years in the United States of America. I hope we will stay here less and we will be able to come back to our peaceful Ukraine after it wins the war and it's safe there again. So, we applied on this, these three documents we had to give. It took us just like 15 minutes inside of the Social Security office and in a week we received this letter by mail with this document, which is the social security number. It says it's valid for work only with DHA's authorization, so it's not a coming with a work permit yet. The work permit, even though we applied like on the in the middle of December, it's still under review, uh, and we applied for work permit that should go with a social security number, but it's still in in the process. So applying directly for the social security number going to the social security office the local office it turned out to be really fast and easy when we came to the office everybody already knew who is ukraine and we received lots of support so they had very clear instructions for what to do with ukrainian parolees which wasn't the case let's say a couple of months ago it wasn't still clear i'm really amazed how fast and well it works i do understand you cannot like this immediately give all of these papers and permissions to anyone who is coming to to your country it's understandable and uh, i think american system works so great and it can be example for everybody else uh, how it works because I, i'm afraid when i posted the previous video about how we applied for work permit and how we needed to go to jacksonville maybe somebody thought i was complaining about it but actually no uh, i'm really grateful for everything that the um, that america is making giving to ukrainian refugees i mean it's a lot of support and it's all manageable all understandable by the way you can work even without the work permit, but you have to give it to your employee in 90 days after you start working. So even here, there is like a, a compromise which, which makes it possible, you know, for you to do things. Uh, the reason why we needed this SSN so much is because we needed the driving license. So I have the Ukrainian driving license. This is how it looks. Like it's both in uh, Ukrainian and English. I'm so young here, you see. Uh, I started driving in 2011. This is when this driving license was issued to me. Uh, it's valid here in, in America, uh, but every state has different rules. So the, George, the state of Georgia gives me permission to drive legally with this Ukrainian license only the first 30 days upon arrival. But if I stay here for longer and if I become like a resident, even if it's temporary resident of Georgia, I have to pass the driving test, the knowledge, knowledge test and receive the local American driving license and as we are in a very rural area where it's 
like all the grocery stores and everything are not on a walkable distance you have to drive and there is no public transport for this again i do not complain this is just how the things work here and it's kind of okay we need the driving license and for this you need the social security number so many words in fact so conclusion it is in american state of georgia it's easy to apply and receive the social security number for ukrainian refugees you just go to the local social security office give needed documents and you in a week they say up to two weeks in our case it was only one week and you receive the social security number these documents are your passport your travel authorization and your i-94 form which is also available in the internet you just can google it and print it out that's all so all easy all good and basically today me and sergey will have our driving test so hopefully we will pass it hopefully we will not fail this was your ukrainian guide elena and your american dog tilly lots of love